Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the bunker. And uh, before we get started, I wanted to just a few notes. Again, every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we're gonna be doing a live stream as long as the unpleasantness um, is is over top of us. Um, we'll be doing that again every Thursday at 9 o'clock p.m. Um, I just want to let everyone know we are slowly, as the, the country is slowly reopening, um, I will slowly begin uh, traveling and making travel videos. Um, I'm eager to get out there, but I got to do it safely and got to do it legally. So uh, we're going to probably start with uh, a lot of the Pigeon Forge area is probably going to be opening up in, in stages. And then we're just going to look at the country and see what's opening up, what we can do, and go from there. Now, during this unpleasantness, um, I, you know, been trying to make alternate style videos, and, and one of the most common requests I've gotten is, "Give us a bunker tour. We want to see the bunker." Now, um, yeah, this is this is my bunker. I uh, kind of always, when I started the channel, I wanted to have a place where I could film alternate content, where I could film, you know, not necessarily if I'm not out in the field. I can maybe do videos where I'm where I'm chatting and, and have kind of a, a place to do it. And that's where the bunker kind of came to be. I used a spare bedroom in our old house. And I'm using the basement here. Curl, curl back. <laughs> the, uh, the the mystery, yes, the bunker is, is just my basement. Um, but I wanted to have an interesting place to kind of just talk, do that sort of video. Um, it's kind of inspired by my old office at work. When I worked in Child Protective Services, um, I was known around my office. For I would decorate, I would just find interesting things, uh, find weird things at, at thrift shops and, and, and hang them up in my office. I just had kind of a, a kooky, weird office. Uh, some people really liked it. Some people appreciated it. Um, some of my superiors did not like it. And I was, I was told uh, by several people, uh, when you work in government, you're not allowed to have a personality. So I always felt like that was frowned upon to a certain degree. But now, now that I'm a professional carpetbagger, I can have all the freedom to decorate um, my bunker, my office, how I wish. And believe it or not, um, my old stuff in my old office, really very little of it is hanging up in here. It's all still packed away in boxes. This is kind of uh, grew organically as uh, as I traveled places and got souvenirs, as people sent me gifts, I kind of constructed the bunker. The bunker took shape. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the bunker. And okay, uh, a lot of stuff hung up right here. These, uh, people ask me a lot about these theater chairs. These are real uh, movie theater chairs. Got them for free at uh, Ruby Cinema in Franklin, North Carolina. They were just giving them away. So, uh, took two. I wish I would have gotten more, but I definitely I got these two. They're pretty comfy to sit in. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the wall right here. Got quite a bit of stuff. Right here, I kind of, kind of are four plaques, four accomplishments that I've made. This, of course, my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. And, uh, this is where I got to add a layer to the world's largest ball of paint that's in Alexandria, Indiana. There's actually a sliver of the ball of paint in there. They're such nice people, such such cool people that do that. And of course, one of my most infamous videos where I devoured a 72 ounce steak, the Big Texan Steak Ranch. There is my certificate. And then in uh, Felicity, California, I got to uh, stand at the center of the world and I got a certificate that validates that I have stood at the center of the world. Actually, gives the exact time and date. At 12.15 p.m. on April 9th, 2019, I stood at the center of the world. And I have a lot of these. These are like, uh, you know, tourist, uh, tourist photos where you go to an amusement park or attraction. And they give you, uh, you know, take your photo for you. That's me, my good friend Adam the Woo, in a snow globe at uh, Dollywood. Uh, my friend John from Exploration Unknown and his wife Heather got me this wonderful circus pennant. Not only do I love the circus, I love these pennants as well. 
and there's me um, holding a tiger um, back <laughs> I'm younger in that picture. You can see I have a lot more hair. Um, back in my naive, my naive days, I, I didn't know all about cub petting. I hadn't seen Joe Exotic. I'm sure Carol Baskin would be very angry that I'm hanging this picture in, uh, in my bunker. My son is standing right out there. He was too afraid that, uh, that, uh, the tigers would bite him. And actually the tiger is biting me right there. It did bite into my arm. It didn't hurt because it's little. But um, I can always tell people that I was bitten by a tiger. Got this poster here at the Monster Museum in uh, Braxton, West Virginia. All about the Flatwoods Monster, one of my favorite cryptid aliens. And then uh, down there, a little sticker from Adirondack Zombie Hunters. Uh, it's like a real zombie hunting store. They sell all the supplies that you need uh, for hunting zombies. That's in Lake George, New York. Here we have me and Tijuana riding a uh, donkey painted like a zebra. Um, that picture comes from... <laughs> I probably had more fun that day than, than I've had in, in most days in my life. Uh, that was, it was a hoot. We got here. We got a lot of pictures from haunted houses. This is from uh, 13th floor. My friend uh, Tristan, who works now works at uh, the Mysterious Mansion. That's uh, his fiance Krista. It's another haunted house photo from Fear Fair in Indiana. There we have uh, me. We have Mrs. Krampus sitting on my lap. And then Morty and Beard. And then uh, Morty's wife right there. This uh, fiddle here um, was sent to me by my friend um, John Ardelli. It went by the name Peddling Prince on YouTube. He um, is no longer with us. He always wanted me to come visit uh, this this fiddle in Canada. I'm gonna get up there someday. Uh, definitely want to make that trip. <laughs> There's just a Polaroid of my daughter when she's like zero, uh, meeting with the Easter Bunny. Love those uh, photos. These two uh, photos down here, taken at uh, Castle Noel, the ultimate Christmas attraction in uh, Meridian. Ohio that is the actual chair that um, Santa sat on in Christmas story and then you get to be pushed down the slide my wife got me this banner right here another Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey banner now these shelves aren't organized uh, the best but uh, just kind of some some really cool stuff here Got my collection of uh, Viewmasters. Oh, we got my Louisville Slugger. They, when you visit the Louisville Slugger factory, they give you a, a sample slugger. It's not a full-size baseball bat. It's just a little slugger there. This is from the Mystic Novelty Company. They actually custom-made this for me. It's a box of tea bags that they made for me. This one's in the tea bag. There's a little possum on the back. This is just to add water with the Fiji mermaid. Some different Zoltars. I, uh, these have been sent to me. Uh, definitely people <laughs> sent me a lot of these really cool Zoltars. These are the ones that actually tell your fortune. I think it's okay. It's out of batteries. And then that's my only, um, what do they call? Pop, pop, art, pop, men. The pop, they, you know, people collect them. You know what I'm talking about. They look like this, uh, but it's got the whole Zoltar thing. What are those called? Pop vinyls, I think. And then back there we have a devil's mask of Henry Zabrowski for Your Pretty Face is Going to Hell. Uh, my friend uh, Shane Morton does all the special effects for that show. And then this, this is one of my prized possessions, actually. Um, Shane also worked on a viral YouTube video for Adult Swim called Too Many Cooks. It was an amazing viral video. And this is a piece of Smarf's fur from Too Many Cooks. I hope people, hope people, uh, remember Smarf and Too Many Cooks because it's a major part of my life. I got this in Gettysburg because it is... <laughs> Probably the dumbest souvenir I've ever seen. It's Abe Lincoln's beard. His beard in a bag. There's a nice, somewhat tiny 
collection of smashed pennies. Um, I lose these so bad, so I've been trying to keep better track of them. There is a uh, Minnie Mouse. What does that say? What does that say? Oh, that's from Ripley's. That's a two-headed calf. There is an alligator from Seneca Park Zoo. I think that was sent to me because I've never been there. But a uh, little, little tiny collection of Smash Pennies. Maybe that will grow. Got this here out of an Ardo mat. And these are amazing here. These wrestling figures um, made by Art Abandonment. The... Uh, they make these, these, they make the, they repurpose these toys, they, they, they redo these toys, Art Abandonment Adventures, they redo these toys, they find at thrift shops, they paint them, they decorate them, and um, they hide them for people to find, uh, but they actually gave this to me at a wrestling event, um, some wrestling figures to, to kind of coincide with my wrestling, we got, there's me there with my suitcase. And some of the fellow wrestlers that uh been involved with. Got some of these cool Mothman uh, souvenirs there. Got a black one and a clear one. There's the Donkey Lady mask that I used in my Donkey Lady <laughs> bridge video. Um, this is, oh yeah, that's cool. That's a... Uh, friend of mine gave that to me. This is a matches uh, that were made for Air Force One. Uh, they had some extras. Their, their company made those. These are my, these are my collection of uh, doubloons. Mardi Gras doubloons from the Zulu tribe of the wooden doubloon. They'll throw these out. What is that? This is this is the king king the car. Yeah, this is Rex. This is like the final parade. There's a vintage marching band figurine given to me by Second Chair. And this here, this is a duck call. I made this at uh, the uh, Duck Dynasty warehouse. Yeah, it's got the Duck Commander logo on it. And then, of course, one of my most prized position, possessions, my 100,000 subscriber championship belt uh, given to me by, by, by my friend Ian. All right, if you're ready, we will head now into the inner sanctum of the bunker. I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll start right here. We have, uh, this was not screen used, but this was going to be screen used. Uh, my friend uh, Vincent Gustini has a uh, special effects shop in Los Angeles. Uh, he made this for a, a sci-fi pilot that was kind of based off of like a, like a sci-fi cantina. And he gave me this uh, Hollywood screen quality possum rat man mask. And it is it's, it's so cool. I love it. Uh, I got this in Tijuana. That crazy night I spent in Tijuana. The Lucha mask. Um, a lot of bumper stickers. Stickers Grand Canyon National Park. House of Presidents in Claremont, Florida. That's still there. It's me and Adam at Anakista in Gatlinburg. This Yogi mask. It was longtime viewers may remember that from the time that uh, me and Adam um, wore masks through Gatlinburg as we felt we were being stalked. Uh, I got this from a on the streets of of uh, Asheville. Someone was uh, what does it say? Bad drawings. They were selling bad drawings, so they. Uh, they drew me, they asked me what my favorite food is, so I said oysters. They drew me inside of an oyster. It says Mr. Wonder, Mr. Marvel's Wondertarium, one of the most amazing sideshow attractions. They had a permanent place in Wisconsin Dells. They've moved to Ohio, I believe. This poster here from the king. There's Jared down there. Uh, Jared and his animatronic king. This is back when he just had the one king. He now has four of them oh boy what do we got look at all this stuff right here look at all this stuff uh this is a velociraptor sent to me by uh, second chair it has a there's a voice thingy in it somewhere there you go it actually makes my hiss noise <laughs> so 
It's a bag of protective salt that was given to me by a witch uh, during one of my meetups. And there's a water from The Thing. The Thing in uh, Dragoon, Arizona. This, uh, this is a singing Mount Rushmore. I thank my lucky star. Sings, uh, <laughs> so funny. I don't know if it's going to sing the whole song or not. They sing Proud to be an American. I guess that's just the sample version. Let me see. What do we got down here? Some toys. It's a set of Disney toys. Small World. Matterhorn. Splash. Mountain. This is a 3D drawing. Uh, someone made a 3D drawing of me. And then out in the Robo Hut, um, printed out a series of actual, with his 3D printer, printed out uh, some 3D models of me, which is so funny. This is, so this is a, uh, I think it says on the back, yes, this is the, the, this is the world, the world's largest, what is this, world's largest chest of drawer in High Point, North Carolina. That's a building in High Point, North Carolina. This is a replica bank of that. Here's my, my hug car that I got from the NASCAR Hall of Fame. I got Pedro from South of the Border. Uh, this is a memento from the solar eclipse that occurred in 2017. A fresh jar of Smoky Mountain air. Uh, this hula dancer here originally got it at Archie McPhee. I wanted to put it on the hood of my car so I could show it in the videos, but it melted on my dashboard. Uh, we got a jar of cheer wine. Looks like that needs to be cleaned out. We got Mothman, the Chupacabra, Bigfoot. This uh, can of macro here. I just bought this at a dollar store because I love the label. That's how weird I am. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have this, uh, this sign here it was actually from the Hillbilly uh, Village in Pigeon Forge before it was torn down. My friend Brian rescued this and gave it to me. Uh, the conch shell. Um, this was this actually was belong to my grandmother. This is a, a Russian nesting doll. It's the one thing I picked from her house that I wanted to keep. Um, someone gave this to me during a meetup. It's a really weird piece of Wonder Woman folk art. These are my original Mickey ears that I got when I was in first grade. My first trip to Walt Disney World. That's baby Jesus. Now down here, part of my Moldorama collection. And I don't think we have time to, to show the whole collection here. Um, and let's see, I, I'm not bad. I'm not good at displaying things. You can see it's all dark in there and you can't really see. Um, this Br'er Rabbit, that's probably my most recent um, Moldorama that I've received as a gift. Um, a lot of these in here were actually antiques that I got when I was at the Moldomatic, um, actually at their, their warehouse where they make, the, they maintain the machines in Florida. Now this down here is a, this was given to me by Chris from uh, Backyard Terrors Dinosaur Park. It is a possum that has been preserved in rock salt. He, he put it in the aquarium. It's been there for years, covered in rock salt. I think that it's safe to take out. He completely sealed it here at the top. Um, I may do a video where I crack open and uh, get the possum out of there someday. We'll see. Oh, I don't want to miss this. This is uh, Sesame the Possum hand painted that. Unfortunately, Sesame the Possum is no longer with us. I actually went to a meetup and met Sesame the Possum at, uh, at a uh, vintage clothing store in Atlanta. That's a painting, an oil painting done by uh, Billy Army. A uh, friend of mine works at a radio station. These are some Mardi Gras beads. This is special. This is Haunter's Blood. It was given to me when I worked as a scare actor at 13th floor in Jacksonville. Um, they give it to people who do exceptionally well. I probably didn't do exceptionally well, but because, you know, because I'm an outsider, because I gave it my all, they awarded me a vial of Haunter's Blood. I always collected uh, vintage postcards, which kind of led into what I do uh, for my Patreon supporters. This is one of my favorites. This is Yumyun. The Vidalia Onion, he's a mascot for the uh, Onion Museum in Vidalia, Georgia. 
Oh, there we have uh, Tom Devlin's Monster Museum, a great attraction out in Boulder City, uh, Nevada. My buddy Nola Deed's right there. There's the uh, Rock Cats. The went and saw them in concert. It actually is a band of cats that play instruments. It is an amazing, truly amazing sight. Here's a big map where I put pins um, in places I've been. As you can see, lots of lots of empty areas. Uh, this area here, this Kansas-shaped area, needs some exploring. And then these are the, the four states that I've not uh, explored at all. Wyoming, Montana, Utah, and this one. Utah, I already said Utah. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana. This is one of the first pieces of art that uh, Luke Weaver did for me. He's done some amazing work. Uh, check his check his Instagram out. It's, it does some good stuff. He's designed some of my t-shirts and inspired my tattoo. There's a random frame picture of uh, Dolly Parton someone sent to me. And uh, this amazing Fiji mermaid painting was a gift. There's the Museum of the Bazaar. Great attraction out uh, Wilmington. And then uh, this this poster here uh, was done by Danielle Tanarelli uh, for my friend Adam the Woo. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened in his videos, but it put me right there behind him, and I and I and I, I always loved it. And, I, and then Danielle did some art for me uh, later on. Here's the original suitcase from my old intros that some of you may remember. So there's a picture of me at Arx Mortis, one of the best haunted houses in the country. This was a gift uh, one of the actors, the zombies from Shaun of the Dead, sent me his headshot, which is super cool. What's that? A uh, hodag mask. And this is the legendary uh, Marriott carpet from Atlanta. Um, the, the Dragon Con fanatics love the Marriott carpet. And uh, they, they, the, the little bit that was saved is sold off. And I was actually given it as a gift just simply because I'm called the carpet bagger. Honestly, I forget where I got this pig. <laughs> and there's uh, there's more of my Moldorama collection. Again, I don't have time to get into each and every one. Maybe someday we will do a Moldorama video. Up here, we got Tookie, the fox grow. This is the first piece of taxidermy I ever owned. I found it in someone's garbage. Uh, there's a possum's paw keychain. And uh, there's... This is Jinx the Robot. I actually got to meet him. He's a robot that travels around to to fairs and things like that and uh, moves around, talks to kids. I got a Hodag there. Got Robert the Doll. Here's a 3D model of me uh, that was made at Gulliver's Gate, a miniature attraction in New York. Unfortunately, they closed down. Um, they said they're going to reopen. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully they do. Another mini Zoltar. We got the Gemini Giant. I uh, bought this at the uh, launching pad outside of Chicago on my Route 66 trip. Uh, the, of course, my Olmec head, my, my good friend Adam the Woo, gave to me. There's the two-headed rabbit I pulled out of a claw machine at Ripley's. Someone sent me this armadillo that is totally amazing. There's the doll uh, made by Creative Engineering, the carpetbagger doll. All right, moving up onto the shelf. Oh, can't forget the autographed uh, photo of uh, of Bozo the Clown. Uh, this was given to me um, during my first meetup. Um, my friend uh, Cassie made that for me. I've used it to kind of put some pins in it. There's some Brass Town Possum. They used to sell that at the old Possum Drop. They no longer have on New Year's. Uh, it's a ghost town on the sky paperweight. Here's a photo from me. This is Universal Studios with my uh, my friend Jason riding the Men in Black ride. Here's a much larger version of that 3D cartoon me that was created. Here's Little Satan. This is there's a lot of there's a story behind this. I used to take this with me everywhere I went and would get pictures taken in front of fam famous monuments. Um, but I kind of retired it because I got sick of carrying around. Uh, so it's actually a bank, so it was it was hard to carry around. But uh, I have pictures of of him in front of quite a few uh, famous landmarks. 
This is from Civil War Tales in Gettysburg, where they reenact Civil War battles with miniature cats. The battles are completely accurate, except instead of soldiers, they're cats. There's a little cat federate soldier. I always thought this was a little strange. Um, Babyland General shot glass. I did collect shot glasses for a very short period of time, but Babyland, of course, the Cabbage Patch Center of the world, they sold shot glasses. And uh, speaking of inappropriate shot glasses, there's a shot glass sold by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office. They said they discontinued that because they didn't want to have alcohol associated things in their gift shop, in their gift shop of the coroner's office. And they said they 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 it was labeled as a toothpick holder um, for legal reasons. Uh, Jack Rabbit milk bought this at the. Um, there's really milk in there. I think Jack Rabbit uh, Trading Post. In Arizona, there's, yeah, there we go. This, this place, this is where I got it from. The the famous, here it is, Jackrabbit Trading Post in Arizona. And uh, here's one of the country bears, statue of one of the country bears. There's a New Orleans voodoo, voodoo doll I got in a gift shop. This little penny here. It's actually, you ever see those giant crosses? There's those giant metal ones. Um, this was made by the same guy, James Potter, who does those. Um, and he put a little, he puts little cross punches in them. And my Fountain of Youth water, one of my favorite uh, souvenirs. I actually got it at the Fountain of Youth. As you can see, it's actually, I'm running, running out. I don't know how it's evaporating uh, with the lid on, but I need to go back and get some more Fountain of Youth water. So let's move up here. And we got my Snow Globe collection. Um, as you can see, I need to refill some of these. Speaking of refilling, I need to refill some of these. They're running out of water. Love this. This is a David versus Goliath. Love these old plastic style ones. I have two from the HS HL Hunley, the famed Confederate submarine. Other ones over here. Uh, let me see. This is a New York one. A friend of mine from work actually smuggled that on an airplane. She wasn't supposed to because you're not supposed to bring snow gloves on airplanes. Uh, we got Blowing Rock, North Carolina where the wind blows up. Folly Beach, South Carolina. There's a Believe It or Not with some shrunken heads. Um, there's a B Boston with a panda holding a pendant in front of a rainbow. There's a, a an old Texas uh, Texas snow globe. I guess I should shake these up. Show the snow, the Texas snow, Boston snow. I think this one, this is Gold City, an old extinct attraction in Franklin. But when you shake it up, there's scum, scum floating amongst it. Uh, here's a great Smoky Mountain uh, snow globe, a little hillbilly and a bear. Give that some snow. We got Indiana and Washington DC. But this here, this is my fave. This is my favorite snow globe. He is an alligator. He's got two little alligators and a seesaw on his stomach. So it's a Florida based snow globe. And look at that. We got a little s Florida snow or alligators on a seesaw in the snow. It is absolutely absurd. This Rock City banner given to me and my friends at. Uh, Collective clothing in Chattanooga. Of course, my jackalope here. That was actually that was actually in my office at work. And uh, the coconut was from Florida. Uh, my grandparents got it on a trip to Florida uh, when they were younger. Uh, this full cart right here, painted by C. M. Laster, a friend of mine who does great, great work. Another friend of mine from work. Yeah, I see, see a lot of people at work were supportive because a lot of people at work did give me taxidermy. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, that was given to me by someone at work. And then this duck, my friend Jeremy called me up out of the blue one day. He's like, do you want a taxidermy duck? I was like, oh yeah. And he, so he brought this, uh, brought this to me. There is my college <laughs> diploma proof that yes, the carpetbagger did go to college with a degree in social work. My mom is so proud. And uh, my son made this for me, did some wood burning. I love that little possum he drew for me. 
Oh, there's the Marvelous Mystery. That's uh, one of Will Russell's attractions. And this clover is from Uranus, Missouri, where a sword swallowing artist uh, drew it with a pen on the end of a sword that was in her gullet. Uh, someone sent me this, the donkey lady. And uh, my grandpa actually sent this to me. I love this, this is from Monkey Jungle in Florida, back when they had monkeys dress up in costumes. <laughs> this is a treasure right here. We got this at the, the six weeks that Funtown Mountain was open, me and Anna got our uh, souvenir old timey photo made. And then there's me and Adam at uh, Ober Gatlinburg. And me and Anna with the same the same photo op. Got some of these um, Zoltar fortunes here. There's the classic Zoltar. We got Pappy. We got the Medicine Man. He's actually a rare one. And then Shrunken Ned from Disneyland. And then uh, this one here is uh, from Meow Wolf. Their, uh, their fortune teller. Uh, speaking of old-timey photos, there's me, Adam, and Odin Von Zero. Uh, got this done in Gatlinburg. My former hometown of Franklin, North Carolina, the gem capital of the world. This was given to me at a meetup. That's me um, riding a hoe deck. <laughs> and uh, this, was my, yeah, this was my first meetup here. Did it at the island in Pigeon Ford who rode... Rode the Ferris wheel and got our uh, got our tourist photo taken. Or banners down here. There's Pennant's Desert of Maine. It's a very interesting attraction. You'll find out in Maine. It's a, it's a real desert and it's in Maine. There is a uh, Main Street Electric Parade pennant. I think that actually was my wife's. Uh, she got that when uh, she went to Disney as a child. All right, so that is my world. That is the bunker here the carpetbagger compound i'm sure i missed some things i was trying to to just kind of walk you guys through and show you some of the stuff i don't know how long this video ends up being but thank you uh welcome to my home i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you'd like to see places i've been besides the bunker there's an interactive map in the description kind of looks like this it'll show you different places i've been and you can tell me where i should go next also if you want to help support the channel consider donating to patreon three dollars or more we'll get you a postcard once a month but until next time this one's in the bag